I'm gonna try and find some gelato. Apparently I'm just eating my way through Italy and gaining a thousand pounds slash kilos. It's fine. Um, all right, I'm gonna see you later. Situated on the coast of the Italian Riviera, Cinque Terre is one of the most beloved destinations in the world. Made up of five fishermen villages, Monte Rosso al Mare is the largest and the most commercial village. A popular site is the Church of St. John the Baptist, which features beautiful black and white marble columns and a fresco showing the baptism of Christ. For tasty Italian meals, don't miss Pozzo and the Oscar. Restaurants feature in our other video, 18 Italian Must Eats. Okay, so I just got off the boat. It's the most popular form of transportation here to get around the five villages. And we just left Monte Rosso. Well, we're actually just stepped into Vernazza. Taking the ferry heading south along the coast from Monte Rosso is Vernazza. Since 1997, Cinque Terre has been recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and many travelers consider Vernazza as their favorite, especially with a breathtaking view entering the village by water. Don't miss Church of Santa Margherita d'Antiochia, which features a unique octagonal bell tower rising from the top of the church. Make sure to climb all the way to the top of the hill and treat yourself with an amazing cannoli at the Pirate Cafe and munch on a slice of focaccia bread. We have arrived in Cornelia. It's known for the crazy 400 steps after you got off the train station. Just did that and now we're gonna look for a restaurant called Cecchio. I feel like pizza today, so we're gonna get some pizza, hopefully. As the only village not directly adjacent to the sea, when you arrive in Cornelia, expect to hike up 100 meters high or zigzag of 33 flights of stairs. The village is wrapped around by vineyards, terraces, and the Mediterranean Sea. The main square, Lago Taraggio, is where you can see the Church of San Pietro, the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Graces, Oratory of Santa Catarina, and a well where locals used to retrieve water. Much quieter than the other villages, Cornelia's houses are also different because they're set lower. You'll never see them as high as those in Mararora or Rio Maggiore. A restaurant that you must try here is Cecchio, and be sure to stock up on local souvenirs. which is another village. I took the train here today instead of the boat because it's getting a little windy and I thought it was a little dangerous on the boat. But look, we've come across a really beautiful church and now I'm looking for a restaurant too. Of the five villages, Mararora is the oldest and the second smallest. The famously bright and colorful houses is what makes Mararora one of the most photographed villages in the world. Yes, this is where you'll find that postcard photo of Cinque Terre you've seen everywhere. While you're here, make sure to indulge in a meal at Billy's, such an amazing restaurant. Hey guys, so this is the view that I basically came to Cinque Terre for. It's in Mararora. It is this iconic, scenic landscape that shows up in every postcard and it's super beautiful. We're here a month before peak season. You know, there aren't that many people here and it's quite chilly actually. As the most southern village of the five, Rio Maggiore is also the first Cinque Terre village that travelers see when they come from La Spezia. There is a Love's Trail where hikers can connect between Mararora and Rio Maggiore. The main street here is filled with shops, restaurants and bars where I met amazing new friends to last a lifetime. So this is Pietro, yeah. yes, and Peter, he's the chef of this amazing restaurant, Billy. I'm literally in a cave in the middle of a hill in Mararora. I can't say it right. Mararora? Mararora. Mararora. And um, I was recommended here by a friend who said that Billy is an amazing restaurant. I had to come and try it. So today I got the Cuddle Fish Ink Pasta. 